Hi, I'm Daisuke Y from Osaka University. I'd like to talk about our shadowless projection mapping technology. And this work was done mainly by my graduate student, Kosuke Hiratani. So we realized a delay-free optical solution for addressing a shadow problem in interactive projection mapping, where a user touches the projection target with their hand to control the projected content. Conventionally, shadowless projection mapping has been achieved by a multi-projection approach where multiple projectors are distributed over the surface such that they project images onto the same target surface from a wide range of viewing angles. And when a surface area is occluded from one projector by an occluder, another projector which is visible from that area compensates for it. However, because there is inevitable delay in the compensation process from the shadow occurrence to the compensation projection, the artifacts occur on the surface when the occluder moves. So we use a large format micro mirror array plate, MMAP, which is a retrotransmissive optics uh, in, in a projection mapping system. As shown here, an MMAP consists of two layers of micromirror alloys, which are attached orthogonally to each other using a glass medium. And this is a typical path of an incident ray. The ray reflects at the top and the bottom layers of the MMAP such that the direction of the incident and outgoing rays are playing symmetry with respect to the MMAP. And as a result, light rays emitted from a point in a space converge at the plane symmetrical point with respect to the MMAP. And therefore, the MMAP forms a real image of an object of equal magnification at the position of its symmetry. The most popular industrial application of the MMAP is a three-dimensional aerial image display. A flat panel display placed behind an MMAP is used as a light source, and the device forms the real image of the light source such that it is floating over the device. Our system uses the MMAP upside down. We place the projection target object under the MMAP. Then we prepare the proxy object which is a white diffuse object whose shape is plain symmetry of the target. We place the target and proxy objects in plain symmetry with respect to the MMAP. The projector directly projects images onto the proxy object rather than the target object. And reflected light rays from each surface point of the pro proxy object fall on the MMAP and converge to the corresponding point of the target object. Consequently, the projected appearance of the proxy object is duplicated on the target object's surface. And we use an MMAP that is large enough relative to an expected occluder such as a user's hand by which shadowless projection mapping is achieved without requiring any shadow removal compute computations because this is a totally an optical phenomena. So this movie shows the projected results in a normal projection system and in the proposed system. In the normal projection system, we can see clear shadows of the hands on the bunny object. On the other hand, in the proposed system, the pro projected texture is not completely occluded on the object surface, even when hands closely approach the object. However, the naive system suffers from stray light of the MMAP, which significantly decreases the contrast of a projected result. So when light rays pass through each layer of the MMAP, 
their directions must be changed by the micromirrors to be converged at the plane symmetrical point. So the ray direction must be flipped twice. But if they do not, then they become stray light. Specifically, when a ray changes its direction only once or does not change the direction, it becomes the stray light. So we propose an optical solution for this technical problem. So specifically, we attach a binary spatial mask uh, to the MMAP that shields the areas where a large amount of incident rays become stray light. And we propose a computational model to determine the shape of the mask, which is optimized for the 3D shape of each projection surface. This movie shows that the masks significantly improved the contrast of projected appearances. Inversely to the projection mapping, light rays reflected at the point on the target object travel through the MMAP and converge on the plane symmetrical point on the proxy object. Then the same appearance of the target object can be observed on the proxy object. So now a user touches uh, on, the, on the target object, then the appearance of the proxy object is disturbed. So we detect user's touch actions on the target object by observing the appearance of the proxy object with a camera. And to avoid the interference by projected results, we use IR spectra for for the user touch detection. We illuminate the target object using IR ambient light and place an IR camera observing the proxy object for the touch detection. As we can see in, in this movie, the touch position can be estimated in the proposed system. Although the estimation accuracy is not as high as that of recent commercially available touch panels, the proposed method can still support a wide range of user interactions. For example, the surface of a target object is divided into several small areas and the user specifies a segmented area by uh, that they want to change its color or the texture by the touch action. So we propose a delay-free shadowless projection mapping system using large format retrotransmissive optics. And we derive a computational model to determine the shape of a spatial mask to reduce the stray light. And we realize a touch-based interactive projection mapping application by leveraging the optical bidirectionality of the retrotransmissive optics. And of course, there are several technical limitations. For example, the target object must be small enough and be static. In addition, due to the optical principle of the MMAP, the focus like blur inevitably occurs. And overcoming these limitations would be, would be interesting future directions of this research. And thank you very much for your attention.